Hello YouTube, this is gonna be one of my favorite stories. This isn't a versus battle, this isn't a backstory, this is literally a personal experience I had with a girl named Democrat. That's her nickname because of some unfortunate. If you want me to look her Instagram, I want this to be for dark gamers. Only dark gamers can figure this out. So first things first. I am getting it on paper, it's official, so this is Slick Goku being forced to turn his name into Slick Kratos because you keep on harassing him because you just will not give him credit. Oh, I'm sorry, they won't give me credit, this cringy ass fucking generation. So, this is another good story about Sabo in the ARL. You heard different how he had that story between Sabo and Cat. What if I told you something happened the day before? Defy my personal journey to the point where I don't give a shit about what the fuck you have to say about me because this is why I know what real life is. Literally, I got a chance to see one of my favorite fairy tale characters in cosplay, Uta Vilkovic. This is that time I learned how to be a Mac where I learned how to be a player and I was grabbing ass throughout that entire convention. If you don't know what a convention is, a convention is a place where we can dress up as anime characters or Marvel comic book characters and literally some woman who dressed up as my favorite anime characters has sex appeal. So I was already grabbing ass already throughout the convention so what ended up happening was this. It's literally I ended up getting consent for one girl and she was slightly fat but she had a pretty face and she cosplay as Uter Milkovich and Lily, I'm like Uter? Sorry for he said she's fat. I'm like Uter? I ended up loving her. She gave me permission to touch her boob. I was so effects ready and I ended up giving her a hug at the end. And they try to say I'm this sick perverted bastard who always, you know, manipulate women to get what I want. And they don't understand that these are people who used to be in the same rap league as me. They used to challenge me every day. So when they saw me pulling girls with ease, they tried to use it against me saying that this is gay compared to my former challenges. I'm like, fuck off, it's gang way. Install me, and that backstory was the proof of it. So go watch my Rise and Fall and Rise Against a Fairy Tale video if you know how factory I am in the series. There was a point in my life where I didn't care what people said while well, I was living like a fairy tale. It didn't matter because I grew up on understanding people. Sitting over here, you know, seducing girls, literally grabbing their asses and shit, literally, and then talking to my imaginary friend right afterwards. The people try to get me to join a gang and shit. I'm like, nope, nope, this and that. I already knew how to fight, I already knew this and that. If you know how gang members work, it's shit compared to most of the orange. So anyway, forget, you know, trying to trap anybody with the mindset if you have such a positive influence like Helen and Mr. Fudger in your life. What ended up happening was, I was looking for two characters the most. I was looking for Jupiter and I was looking for Uter. They were both really, because you know, it was a very specific series. I was wondering, why don't they, you know, uh, cosplay as one of those characters? I was looking for her forever. I was going to anime conventions ever since I was in high school. And I, you know, I didn't like the concept of them when I was an adult because I know what the anime community is. It's full of a whole bunch of people who have mental conditions. But I still like them in costume. But then I ended up realizing that they were normal people. And so what ended up happening was this. This nigga Sabo still tried to help me to the ARL storyline, still tried to say, please, please, go back to your old grace so you can be a full nerd again. All because they lost their passion. You gotta understand, because they attack things that are specific and then they expanded them like a gang member, but they do it through the internet. So like, Lily, any fucking excuse you have in the world to use yourself. So when I'm getting concrete pussy or no way around it, it's destroying them because they have none to gaslight, none to hold on to, and they certainly can't get a gang for help, but you try to get me to help you when well, he already gets pussy well there is something that we could attack he has a disability i'm like well let me know where it gets to a certain point and every time it gets to a certain point where they could contact the gang member i would literally already be on another level in life so literally these niggas try to get in my head you know literally they try to act like literally who are my imaginary friends and shit so i used to have imaginary friends i based them off a tier system literally based off you know anime characters if they were to run for congressman I did, I structured it in my mind, literally, I had a whole congress, I'm like, okay, so if I want to learn how to get profit, I want to make Yugi, you know, uh, the accountant, if I want to learn how to fuse my almighty dream of anime hip hop, I'm going to go ask Steph the Kid, literally, I used to have a bad friends all the time, literally, I used to love talking to him, because whenever they forced me to lift the standard, they try attacking me, having a bad friends, and the air rope having specific shit like rap battles, so I'm specifically fucking both that to bitch, so if you stay in one spot, when I constantly move on, you can say, yeah, 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 you can rap this fast, you can do this and that, you can try to say rap rap South Corner and this and that, Lily, who's banging at the end of the day? It's like, no, I want you to sort the complexity, there is no complexity, but let me tell you, this shit is real complexity. 
had an entire storyline. I never stopped because I was looking at all these anime characters, Lily, and I never found Uter. Fuck Lily, what I learned in the hood. Lily, this is one of my goals ever since I was a little kid. I finally have a picture of Uter, and I got with her, and it was one of my best girlfriends, Lily. So where it came down to making their statement proper, Lily saying this and that, because I tried hard in life, and I understood what you get if you actually go all the way. Lily, they tried doing everything. Lily, they tried saying that I never changed, that this and that. So Lily, so what it is why I achieved something, they compared it to their league. I'm like, there's a whole world outside your league, it doesn't matter. And they're all like, after I got done grabbing that one girl, they tried to get in my head. So if I became a ghost for one second, I had to literally attack somebody trying to enter my mind. I heard this nigga Sabo say after I grabbed one girl, and like Lily, but Lily, it was after I got done, it was after I was texting her. I was texting her her number and shit, and he was all like, Lily, yeah, but you did stand up to Travis. I'm like, Sabo, you can't do it, so shut the fuck up. That's what ended up happening when I ended up grabbing Jim, Lily. I ended up literally going up to a hotel room and my mom and my imaginary friend, you know, I stopped having, I, I was about to say imaginary friend land, I stopped having imaginary friends a long time ago. My mom in my head was Kaguya from Naruto and since he's actually the mother god of the show, it was perfect for the way I, you know, I structured my congress. Guess what? I was in the hotel room and I didn't feel like masturbating. I'm like, why do I, why do I, Lily, I hate the fact that I need to masturbate, Lily, after I had such a good adventure, after so much meaning happened, this and that. I don't like, I don't like the fact that I'm forced to jack off because I'm human, right, Lily? So this and that, Lily, Lily freaking this and that, but then. A few minutes later, after I got comfortable, I asked Mother Kagura in my head, like, wow, I actually got to meet Ute. She's like, you know why? Because you did your homework. <laughs> the air rail always puts this shit over my head, Lily. It tries, but it never works because I'm too cool when I live real life. So what ends up happening was this, literally, they try to be little bitches by Lily blaming rape, blaming gangs, blaming society, because they know in order to get girls in real life, they have to go all out, and so they hold on to her excuse. So I ended up grabbing one girl, and one girl ended up talking to another, and they say that my concept is stupid. You're getting girls when you know you're in denial, when you used to face stronger challenges. So guess what ends up happening? If you view it on the outside or out the influence, I'm very good, right? But if you're trying to pollute someone's mind, check it. They won't let me put this in a light, and that's the reason why they tried to keep it underground. Because this is what happened. One of the girls I grabbed, Lily, walked down the fucking street and asked Lily, who was that guy who grabbed her ass? <laughs> And the other girl had a funny story that told the other girl she gave me consent. We end up having a funny ass conversation on the outside, Lily. If you have no standard, you view these two fine ass bitches, Lily, with big ass teeth, talking about a guy who they almost fucked, Lily. It looks on the outside is unbelievably hot, unbelievably incredible, unbelievably fire. But they try to pollute with these things like the concept, like they're both dressed up as anime characters. They're both immature. They both, you know, have the same mental condition as you. And this and that. And you end up falling over vagina every time, buddy. And that is why we whoop their ass. <laughs>